What's up, YouTube? My name is John Jagsney, and welcome to my series, What the Fuck is After Effects, where we break down a very specific part of this fun but complex piece of software. Let's save you some time and dive right into today's topic. It's a, it's a really fun, ridiculous tool, and if you ever need to do more professional rigging, I highly recommend investigating the Duic plugin. It allows you to do character rigs and all that, but hey, this is a fun way to do something super basic and rudimentary, and hey, sometimes it gets the job done. So we have this cutout of my girlfriend, Amanda. I'm so sorry, and uh, we have a mask here. It's basically this photo right here with her on a ledge in the Grand Canyon, about to do some kung fu or something. That's, Rebring that mask back, lock it, and then let's add some puppets. So the puppet tool, control P, and then uh, what that will do is I'll allow you to make some points on it. Think of it like a joint on a puppet, so to speak. So let's uh, add one at the foot, and it'll auto trace, and then let's uh, add one at the hip, and then add a bunch around the hip and the leg, because we, we want all this to stay static, to keep everything else static except the hand and the elbow and the leg. So now let's say if we um, go forward, say, what? 10 frames, so to speak, 11 frames, we can uh, crank this up and we get some newly newly wet leg action, but that's okay, maybe bring it in so it's not so ridiculously out of proportion. And then the original position in uh, 22 frames, so it's a one second kick, hit U on the keyboard to reveal our keyframes. We see a bunch of them added. Uh, we'll just select that, drag it. So now we fit to comp. Hiya. Oh my god, that's horrible. That's horrific. I'm so sorry, internet. And I'm so sorry, Amanda, but uh, you do karate now. Hiya! And then uh, if I wanted to be like, okay, then um, here. What keyframe is this? Alright, so I'll add a keyframe there, and then go forward. And then move this. forward two frames and then copy that and then paste that and then paste that and then paste that yeah 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 it's like karate chop action from toy story so uh yeah i'm so sorry amanda but that's the puppet tool uh it's pretty simple and i've actually used it on a handful of board game projects because they needed something a little bit more um in fact, non-polished, and it was a really fun project uh, where we use the puppet tool a lot. So, that's the puppet tool, and that's everything on the toolbar. Obviously, each one of these tools you're going to be using quite a lot if you get into the realm of After Effects, but some of them you'll be using more than others, some of them you'll only use very basic things, some of them you just won't touch because there's better things to use outside of After Effects, like Photoshop, or plugins, or whatever else. Uh, so. That's it. I hope you learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Punch the crap out of the like, that like button. It would really help me get to know that this is useful content and that you uh, are enjoying my, my beautiful face because uh, unfortunately you're not getting however long the length of this video is back into your life. So I hope it was a, a good use of your time. All right, that's it. Next, we'll be talking about the project window in After Effects. Stay tuned for that. And until then, I will see you next time. My name is John Jagney, and uh, I will close you out with a high five. Goodbye. Bye, my friends. Mike's back there. Bye. Put the place up.